Hello guys, I'm Koi. Today I got to the SFS. So today I got the um, Marvel Legend um, Infinite Series Play the figure when they go again. So I got the um, Marvel uh, Sinister, Mr. Sinister, I believe. So yeah, um, I decided to complete my Wendigo build the figure so because yeah I didn't call it um with the figure for a while so why not completing out the Wendigo since most of the figure in this way I kinda really want the three figure that I kinda want which is Nightcrawler I already review him up so I might just put a cut or something at the end of the video. Um I already um I'm going to review this one and also I'm thinking about getting the um uh, as for Wolverine because I didn't have any Wolverine in my Marvel Legends collection so that would be pretty great to add to my collection but let's just go in straight to the view Mr. Sinister itself so let's share the box pretty quick first this is a bit of figure Wendigo Marvel Legends series X-Men so um, Mr. Sinister as per logo on the side side and the back or the figure that you can get so now all i need is just i already have the uh, boat hand for the uh, when they go now i need is the also boat leg and also the um the head for the uh, when they go so i i'm not interested in cannonball boom boom and guardian but guardian because of the it come with also i might just get him so and as well as i really want I really want X Force Wolverine since X Force Wolverine is like one of my favorite Wolverine suit. So yeah, just see the box pretty quick. Um, the bio of the Mister Sinister, a scientific genius with evil intention, Nathaniel Essex genetically alter his human form to become the shape shifting telepath known as Mister Sinister. So yeah, um, yeah, I really didn't know. Um, Mr. Sinister. Um, we didn't. I think we see him inside of the X Men Apocalypse movie, but at the end of the credit, I don't know if if he's um ex he's Mr. Sinister, but yeah, we could kind of see him in the movie. But yeah, I totally didn't know anything about Mr. Sinister, so he didn't come with any accessory. But yeah, it just um based on the bio, it is on uh, he is a therapist person like pot person x so i don't know what he will uh i don't know what thing that he should come so because he just a uh, telepath but the design of the figure is totally definitely nice you can see we got some he got some big cape just like kind of like a uh, comic book accurate i believe so this whole back piece is just like flopping around but um there's a uh, minor problem is um yeah you kind of pretty hard to stand a little bit so you kind of have to limb him forward a little bit because of his this gigantic cape because look at it this is definitely gigantic so but let's just see the head copy quick um bringing the up the camera so yeah looking like a vampire right over there mm. yeah, as you can see looking like a vampire of mr sinister let's call it pretty nice i don't know if it's come accurate or not but looks okay to me um based on the uh, obviously based on the um, um image and stuff so it's kind of accurate okay pretty cool so he got some big big like gigantic thing um over his uh, around his head so um he didn't have he didn't have like a big cool some tough cool detail but yes some nice uh metallic blue paint dark blue paint i do to say he got some diamond like logo every um something over there so i don't know what's represented that got shoulder shoulder pad the shoulder pad is made out of rubber material so it's definitely soft um i feel like uh marvel i feel like uh yeah i just remember they use the um uh i couldn't remember what the figure but I, I i know the figure is but i don't know that um that lock i believe that lot or one lot I couldn't remember but they use the um it is not a new bod um body mod it's just a reuse of that body mod but I couldn't remember it is that lock that lock too I couldn't remember but yeah so you got some boot the yeah uh, like um dark blue boots over there in the back yeah this this case is totally gigantic so it's, it got two pieces over here and I feel like you could remove the kit but I don't know I, I i don't want to remove it actually obviously so i got um my my figure is leaving on the um i don't know there are some qc issue on my figure so i i hope it is on my figure i think it is just on my figure 
um, because of the articulation so let's see the articulation the head you can move it then side to side but because of this big kind of thing you kind of have it's kind of like limited a little bit so the head you can move it up that much yeah down yeah the joint is pretty tight so you can move it down um turn outward that much you can move it forward a little bit but because of the shoulder pad you couldn't it kind of hinder the articulation a little bit so this um up um bicep level got double joint this elbows which is definitely let's look at that that is nice okay so this um western side to side hinge up and down now here is my problem so the abs you can move it the abs is still okay you can move it forward backward and my waist level on this one is stuck so i'm i don't know i might have to use hot water or heat dryer to move it up but yeah it it is stuck so i feel like there is a joint yeah there's definitely a waist level over there but it it just stuck so it's my my figure is just stuck actually which is definitely bad the leg you can move it forward backward so this um i don't know it's like upper thighs level i think you could call that at uh, upper thighs level so now we just this knees um ankle move down up and also ankle pivot so yeah that's it is He's also pretty gigantic, um, not too gigantic, not too, not too tall, not too short, but um, let me take one of my figures actually. So, okay, so, he's Nightcrawler. I know Nightcrawler is a little bit on the short side, but you could kind of, kind of see the difference actually, so, from the same wave. Let me bring down the camera a little bit. Okay, so. Yeah, it, it is definitely, um, Mr. Sinis is definitely gigantic so I don't know based on the um based on the um bio and stuff and um and image um he's I feel like he's definitely sh such a huge guy not like a normal size be uh, person so yeah I think the scale wise is definitely okay so yeah that's it okay JJ back to you guys to see our more more mobility figure review I've told you I really want to copy my wedding go baby figure like why not so <clears throat> so next one either next one will be either X Force Woven or um Red Guardian because I I mean um yeah it is is Red Guardian actually so either X Force Woven or Red Guardian because I want Red Guardian just because of the other side one I really want X Force Woven I have to say so I I'm not interested in Cannonball and Bobo I might just get the uh, leg on. Uh, online so yeah um, we just see what is next and goodbye